Can we all eat whatever we want and still stay skinny? Hey guys, this is Juliana. I'm your workout buddy and welcome back to my channel. Well, the goal here is that no matter how busy we are, we can still keep fit, stay healthy, and get a better shape. You know, I always get comments saying that it's my genes that allow me to eat whatever I want and not gain weight. For the record, I did a DNA test and the result told me that I actually have those so-called fat genes. So in this video, I just want to share what my possibility changed my destiny. <laughs> Basically what I've been doing, like my habits and somebody called the secret to keep fit and stay slim despite having those genes and without being on a diet. Genes are a crucial piece of the puzzle. We know our genetic blueprint better. We know what exactly we can do to improve our health, diet, fitness, and nutrition needs. So today I'll be doing a DNA test. Circle DNA will be generating more than 500 reports, ranging from my optimum diet report, nutrition report, my common health risks, and there are also 18 reports for sports and fitness according to my DNA. So I am so excited to get my results back and see what I can do. So I will have to download the app and create an account. I'll be collecting the sample now. It's really simple, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Swap each side for 10 times. Okay, so it says my results will be delivered to my online account within 18 business days. Oh my god. We're gonna jump right into the workouts before going through my DNA test result, fun facts, and my secret of getting a lean body. Stay behind if you wanna know my secret. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to before the new Rewind, take it out of cue And this sense can be a elephant's game Signed up for the Hall of Shame I wish I knew Truth is hard to swallow, I think I'll chew it
know what? I decided to film this HIIT workout because of an insight I got from a Circle DNA report. Well, look at my sports and fitness data. High power and low endurance. I do it. So I was a competitive swimmer back when I was young, and I would always go for 50 or max 100 meter race. Never, never went for the longer ones because I just sucked at long distance. Now here's why. <laughs> Anyways, do you guys prefer like a quick hit or a longer but mild workout? Do let me know in the comment section, and of course, the sports and fitness results too. And I can make contents that match your needs. And to you guys' surprise, the report says I'm more likely to have a larger waist circumference. Well, indeed. When I gain weight, my belly is the first one to tell. And whenever I feel like I gain some weight or it's getting out of control, I do my workout. Or I go out for some outdoor activities, like something intense and requires a lot of energy. Remember? When our daily energy expenditure is more than energy intake, we lose weight. But in fact, our environment or exposure to certain things may play a more important role. If you guys know me, I binge it from time to time. And it seems like it has something to do with my genes. Alright, let's dig deep into diet. Is that some Mediterranean diet most suits me? My parents definitely had no idea because I had bread for my breakfast my whole childhood. And the list can go on and on. There are actually many more reports like our ancestry composition and if you were curious, I'm exactly how I look. More than 95% East Asian and the rest, Southeast Asian. What's surprising to me was how the report actually detected my personality. Like it says I'm aggressive, which is totally true. I just think this is incredible. Yo, you know, I also got a high tendency for mosquito bite. Well, I do have higher risk for hypertension, which is what my dad has right now, so yeah, maybe it's inherent. Luckily, I do not have any cancer-causing mutation detected. It's truly interesting to look at my own genetic data. I guess genes are indeed a crucial piece of the puzzle. But it's also imperative to bear in mind that it's just a part of the whole picture. The secret to a lean body and the so-called eat whatever we want and not get fat is more than just our genes, but how we act. Let's say if you have a big meal today, no problem, nothing to be guilty about, just move around more and have the energy consumed. Our genes do determine our craving for fatty or sugary food, and yes, we can help them satisfy our appetite. But maybe if you are highly fat or carb sensitive like me, then try to switch to something similar but healthier as an alternative, like using avocado instead of butter for baking, or eat some fruits instead of processed product with high reducing sugar, like coke. And I think this whole thing, like what we should do, is where a DNA test can come in very handy. Be educated of what exactly our body needs the most, then we can proactively improve our health, diets, and fitness. It's a synergy. So if you guys are thinking of getting a convenience test done, you can use my code OBSERVE for 20% off. Or you simply want to know more, I've already put the link down in my description box, so check it out! Last but not least, I would love to hear what you guys are up to. Are you tend to be higher in power endurance? Let me know in the comment section. Until next time, bye!